There are students who ask me that they want to go for a master's in computer science course, but they do not have a lot of money to spend. Because if you look at the best courses in computer science, Harvard would cost us somewhere around 50 lakh rupees per year. Stanford, 50 lakh rupees per year. So we do not have that much money, but then we also want to go to top tier institutes. No one has actually made this list where you go to top universities at affordable rates. In this video, I'm going to talk about only top 200 colleges which have the cheapest tuition fees for a master's in computer science and also have good future scope. So without further ado, let's directly jump into it. So all the colleges and universities that I'll be talking about will have a tuition fees of less than 15 lakh per year. I do understand that 15 lakh is also slightly towards a higher end, but then we're talking about top 150 QS ranking universities. So that's also important. Now, starting this list at number 10. We have University of Washington at number 10. The course that you will be going for is Masters in Computer Science and Software Engineering. The cost would be around 15 lakh rupees for this course for one year. University of Washington has a QS ranking of 15 for computer science. At number 9, we have Georgia Institute of Technology and the course fee would be around $18,000 here, which is again loosely somewhere around 15 lakh rupees. What's the bad thing about this university? They just have an acceptance rate of 16%. That means it would be slightly difficult for you to get into this university unless you have a very good GRE score, but the QS ranking is 88. So that's a good thing. At number eight, we have University of Amsterdam. Now, if you're planning to go towards Europe side, we do not have a lot of options in the top universities, but Amsterdam is the best university that you have in Netherlands. And it is in the top 40 QS ranking universities also. Also, the tuition fees is not that much. It's around 15,000 euros, which is loosely somewhere around 15 lakh rupees again. So if you're planning to go towards Europe side, then I would highly recommend you University of Amsterdam or the universities that we're going to talk about in the uh, top one, two, three, because they are in Germany and they're good. Now, if you want to go to a country where you can find an easier PR, then I would highly recommend you to keep your options open for Australia and Canada. And let me talk about one university from either of these two places. First, let's talk about from Australia. At number seven, we will keep University of Adelaide. The cost for this would be around 12 lakh rupees. Now, you're going for a computer science course, that too in Australia. Australia right now requires computer science engineers. And if you're planning to go for a PR, then University of Adelaide would give you additional points. First of all, you're going for a course wherein there is a lot of demand. Secondly, the PR cutoffs for computer science is usually lower. Thirdly, you're going to a regional place. Adelaide right now is considered in regional place. You'll get additional five points to go to Adelaide. I mean, it is as good as any other state of Australia. I don't know why it is still not in the ranks of Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane, but then it is still considered tad lower than that and you get five additional points for Adelaide. So it is a very good idea if you're planning to go to a top QS ranking, it is in the top 100 again. So if you're planning to go to a top QS ranking university, also plan to keep an eye on PR, then Adelaide is a very good uh, college for you. If you look at Melbourne or if you look at Monash or if you look at Sydney, University of Sydney, these end up being very costly, but Adelaide only at 12 lakh rupees is a good idea. Also in Adelaide, you would be going for a graduate certificate in computer science. We talked about Australia. Let's talk about Canada. Now, Canada also has a very good option. That is McGill University. Now, if you're planning to go for a PR and you already would know you've subscribed to this channel, so you would already know that Canada has easier PR, right? So if you think of Canada easier PR, when you look at masters in Canada, it is usually expensive. But then one university that you might want to look at is McGill University. It has a QS ranking of 31 all across the world. The cost of this would be around 12 lakh rupees, but there is a catch here. The course that you'll be going for is a master's in computer science thesis based. So you will be going for a thesis based course. For those of you who do not know what course based pro degree and a thesis based degree means, course based degree is a degree wherein you have a lot of classes. I mean, everything is taught to you via classes, but in thesis based degree, you do not have a lot of classes. So that's the difference. But if you're planning to go to Canada, this can be a very amazing option because you're going for a master's in computer science. Eventually you'll get additional points. And if you end up working one year in Canada, easily your CRS score would go uh, beyond 500 and you will get a PR. At number five, we have University of Texas at Austin. Probably if you're a computer science engineer, you would already know about this. It is in the top 40 US ranking. So that's also one good thing about it. You can go for a course based on thesis or you can go on coursework basis. 
both are available both at fifteen thousand dollars so which is somewhere around 12 lakh rupees now if you're thinking that everything is about 12 lakh 10 so let's talk about a few universities that are slightly cheaper than this so at number four i would keep university of california san diego and the course fee would only be 9.8 lakh rupees so we're now below the 10 lakh rupee mark and it is again in top 100 qs rankings now i feel like i've talked about a lot of us colleges and not a lot about canadian and australian colleges so for australia as well as canada let's talk about uh universities in their major hubs so for sydney i will give you university of new south wales and for vancouver i'll give you university of british columbia i've been to both these universities absolutely amazing universities so in university of new south wales your course fee would be around 14500 australian dollars which would be somewhere around 7.5 lakh rupees and you will be going for a masters in finance course and in university of british columbia you will be spending somewhere around 5 lakh rupees per year moving ahead let's talk about two more universities now we have a lot of universities in germany that are absolutely free so that would obviously be at number one but for number two i would give you two options for both paid universities one would be in germany and the other one would be in switzerland for germany i would give you okay i'll have to read the name of this university heidelberg university Rupreto Carola and I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing this name wrong but if you go for a different course in this same university masters in data science that would be completely free but if you're planning to go for masters in computer science then that would have a cost of 3 lakh rupees per year and for Switzerland I'll just give you University of Geneva and the fees for that would be 86,000 rupees every year now if you have an idea about these universities these are absolutely amazing universities at number one i would any day keep german universities because they're very good and absolutely free the only problem that you have in german universities is the application process it is really long you have to go through aps vpd there are a lot of things a lot of complications and that is where i help you guys so if you're planning to go to germany i help you with the admission process you can go to the description and there will be a google form you can fill that form and my team will get in touch with you and help you with this process you can also go to the comment section the form would be there also but it is a paid thing I do help the German admission process, but it is a paid thing because it is a very long process. So if you need that help, you can go to the comment section and fill that form up. Apart from that one additional university that I would want to keep here in the list is ETH Zurich, wherein your cost would be somewhere around 1.4 lakh rupees per year. So Switzerland, Swiss universities, we don't help with, we just help with German universities. So you can go to the comments, fill that form up, we'll help you. And if this video was useful, you might want to watch this video. Wow. And I'll just fill the form. That's it. Bye.